Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your high limit thermostat in your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because your dryer isn't heating. For this repair, we'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. And our friend, the Shorts Phillips head screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the appliance that we'll be using in this demonstration. It's a GE. Keep in mind yours at home might look a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same techniques should still apply. Just make sure you turn your gas off. So we're going to start by turning our dryer around. So what we'll need to do is remove these screws up here in order to get the control panel off. So now that we've got the back unscrewed, we can just slide the control panel over and we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna put it back in this space right here. Now we're gonna open up our dryer door and on either side, there are two screws going straight up. So we need to remove those screws now and we're gonna be using a Phillips head screwdriver to take these screws out. Now that we've got those screws out, we can take the top off. All we have to do is just lift up and pull back slightly on the top. And we'll set that off to the side. So now that I've got these screws out, I want to close up our front dryer door. Now I've got two more screws that screw into the front panel. And I'm just going to have to remove those as well. And when you remove them, just make sure that when you get close to having them come out, you catch them because you don't want them to fall down into the dryer there. There we go. Now that we've got those screws out, we can tilt the front panel forward. And once we've got it tilted forward and separated from the drum, we can lift it up over the tabs on the bottom and just turn it like so, because we've got some wires attached to it as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach some of these wires here. First one I'm gonna detach is this black one that's connected right over here. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna pry up. There we go. Now I've got this plastic card that's in my way a little bit. What I'm gonna do is just pull it slightly out like that so it's removed from the frame. And now I can move it out of my way. Again, just don't move it too far. You don't wanna break it. We'll move it just enough so that I can use my screwdriver and pry these wires off. There we go, that's one. And we just need to unplug our white wire and we'll just pull that straight out there. So now I'm just gonna remove this last wire here. And once again, just pulling that straight out. So right on top of the drum here, we've got this piece, which is our belt there. So in order to get it off, I'm gonna reach inside of our dryer here. And I've gotta get my arm in that little hole. We're gonna to have to push up on the lever to release the tension and reach in with our other hand. And now we can just take that right off. So now that we've removed the belt from the pulley, we can lift up on the belt. That'll help us pick up the drum. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I take anything else apart is I'm just gonna clean out the inside here so that uh, all the dust is cleaned out and I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Now we've got most of the dust cleaned out, so we'll continue with our repair. So you'll see right here, we have three thermostats right in a row. The one we're going to re be replacing right here is the middle one. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small stubby screwdriver, and I'm going to remove the screw that holds it in place. And once I get that screw out, I can release the thermostat. I'm just gonna 
I want to pull it back to get that round part out of the hole, and I want to lift up to get the tab out. Now I can remove the wires. The reason why I didn't remove the wires to begin with is because we got this nice sharp screw up here, so I didn't want to cut myself if I accidentally pulled too hard. So we can remove the wires now and just pull straight off. If they don't pull straight off, you can also use a flathead screwdriver in order to get them off. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement thermostat. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now what I'll do is I'll put our thermostat back into place. So we're going to slide the tab right there into a slot and then the round piece fits nicely into that nice round hole there and everything should line up so the top is lined up with the screw hole. Now I can screw it back in. So I'll start the screw just by hand. And then I'll finish tightening it up with our little stubby screwdriver here. There we go. And finally, I just have to plug these wires back in. There we go. And you just go straight on. So you'll see on the back of your drum here, there's a small shaft. And when you put the drum back in, you're going to want to make sure that shaft goes into that hole right there. There we go. So it's a little bit hard to line it up when you can't really see it back there, but you can do the best you can. And it might take a couple of tries to get it exactly in place. There we go. After a couple of tries, should be able to get it in there and you'll see that the rim of the drum is, is inside the frame of the dryer there. Now to put the drum back on, we're going to take the belt, we're going to go on the other side of the wheel here just like this and we're going to lift it up keeping this all together and then loop the belt around the shaft here and make sure everything's on straight. There we go. And then everything should be able to spin freely now. Just like that. We're going to reattach that to the middle. This is the white wire that goes up along the edge of the door and goes to the light. So that's plugged in now. And now with this last one, we attach it right there. There we go. Now I'm going to put this plastic piece back into place. So right into that slot right there. And we'll plug our last wire in. And you're just going to make sure that these slight bumps there line up with the holes on the side. And that fits in nicely. And now we'll put the front panel back on. So now we're going to line up our front panel with the tabs on the bottom. And we're going to set those into those tabs and stand the door up. And as we do that, we're also going to line up with the drum. And the inside of that plastic piece on the washer is going in the drum. And we've also got these metal tabs on the side that are going into the slots on the frame. So once those are all lined up and the panel is flush, we can screw it back on. So now we're going to get our screw started in this hole here. And then after we get it started, we'll screw it down nice and tight. Same thing on this side. Start our screw in by hand and use our Phillips head screwdriver to finish the job. Now I'm going to put the top back on and you'll see there are two tabs sticking out from the top. There are going to be two slots that correspond with them. So I want to line all those up. So after I line those up, I'm going to make sure that the tabs go into the slots just like that. 
And there's a couple on the front as well. So now we can screw that back in. So we'll put in our screw. And with that little tiny hole at the top, you should be able to line up the screw with the hole that it belongs to there. Once you got that started a little bit, then screwing it in. Now we're going to put our lint filter back into place since that came out a little while ago. There you go. Now we can close our dryer door. Now we can line our control panel back up and slide that back over and set that back into place. Now we can screw it back in. Now we can turn our dryer back around and then once we do that we'll plug everything back in and your repair is complete. Now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website PCApplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.